So today I would like to show you a little bit about the 360 avionics products installed in one of our test airplanes. So on your screen now you can see the three large displays which are model ELM1000. That's our new EFIS which has different capabilities, functionalities including large 10.1 inch touch display. So mainly this EFIS was designed for this particular RV-10 airplane, but with the time it became a product in our company. This EFIS has a synthetic vision option. So basically, as you can see, it shows you three D horizon as well as runways and obstacles. This EFIS also have various uh, functionality modes. For example, this one is the standard 3D synthetic vision, which will also show you the mountains, so the relief, as well as will warn you about the terrain, ob terrain and obstacles. The screen is touch screen, so by swapping the screen to the left, we can split the screen onto two parts. Here we have a standard moving map. This map has some uh, sector, uh, has some information about the uh, control zones and the um, information about the actual uh, control zones with their altitudes, respective uh, altitudes. By swiping the screen, we can open a full screen mode for the maps. So as you can see, for example, right now we're located in Pitmiras Airport. We have a control zone with a surface to 2500 mean sea level altitude. So you can find all the information. It's pretty much standard across most manufacturers and offices. For example, we can um, zoom out the map. So that's a terrain map. If we want to move the map on the screen, we just push the button. We can move it anywhere we want. Let's say we can... This one is also capable of setting up the flight plan. So, for example, we can set up a flight plan. For example, we want to fly, uh, let's say, some nearest airport. So we can immediately select nearest airport to fly uh, into, which is very easy, just by single button push. We can also change the radius where we're searching for the nearest airports. If we want to go by flight plan, we can either choose the airport letter by letter, or we can import flight plan via the front USB port here. Or, for example, I have some stored flight plans or from USB. So, for example, we want to fly to, I don't know, let's fly to this airport. So now that's our flight plan, which consists out of one, two, three, four, five legs, right? So it's pretty much standard. We have runway extensions lines here. That's our uh, airport, which we are targeting to fly to. So now, for example, if we want to edit this flight plan on the go, so we just go with the function button and let's say this way point we can move, let's say here, okay, or let's say we can, we can change it pretty much anywhere we can place it on the screen. Let's say that's going to be our approach to runway 27. And let's say at some point we want to add extra um, waypoint, we want to fly, let's say, over this airport. So we pretty much can change our flight plan legs right on fly. We can delete the waypoints and everything. So that's uh, basic map functionality. We also have a total trip distance waypoints. I don't think it much different from other navigational products. So this is our, um, this is our basically compass rudder. If you have uh, some ADS-B traffic, it will be shown as well here. That's our flight plan, how we're gonna fly. That's a main screen which I was designing specifically for the RV-10 airplane. So here, I basically 
can put any image of any airplane top view in my case I have the RV10 airplane I have here the flap position if let's say I go in zero mode so that's gonna change to zero they become white I know this is my normal cruise mode while this mode is my um, technically it should show minus three because in Vance RV10 reflex is minus three up but in my case I just have to calibrate it so we also have here the CHT AGT temperatures and we can easily switch it to the graph mode so in this mode it will just basically draw the last three minutes graph for CHT and AGT temperatures this is a very useful feature if you want to see how your temperature was changing with the time here we have some information about endurance total time hopes and just for fun I added the option for mpg and liters per hundred kilometers so if you want to show to your friend how economical your airplane is for flying for some distances you can always show this mpg and uh, liter per hundred kilometers value which will be automatically calculated during the flight here we have information about the flaps position and about the trimmers position as well as we can configure different sensors for the oil pressure fuel flow oil temperatures fuel pressure batteries fuel tank um, fuel tank uh, fuel amounts but you know what don't trust to those because as you know those should show exact amount only when you when your tanks are empty but technically those two are the fuel tanks amounts which we use in a cruise flight when wings are leveled i'll more trust to the fuel flow sensor on top we have here rpms map and here we have interesting thing that's actually our power charts for the engine and we can change it to 65 75 or 55 percent and that's a cool thing when you just basically flying you just look right away uh, your current altitude uh, by thousand feet will be shown always in the center and you can always set wherever you want for your constant speed probe if you don't have constant speed probe you probably don't need that section anyway but um, otherwise yeah you're gonna use that so uh, also on this screen yeah basically that's all information I have a uh, Lazar ignition system installed in my airplane so I do have some additional information taken directly from the Lazar ignition system the same information can likely be taken from PMAG and other uh, ignition systems this is a weight and balance well basically that's also a cool thing to have it was designed for RV10 but can be easily designed for any other airplane especially because the settings file with all arms and weights is can, can be adjusted easily through the menu so we can easily set here the amount of fuel we have right now on board it by the way automatically takes it from the fuel sensors and by uh, pushing the single button calculate it immediately calculates how my um, how my scheduled flight will be so you see i'm pretty much nose heavy in this case right now because i'm empty with only my weight and a little bit of the baggage weight but right away i can see where i'm going to be my aft it's very useful calculator especially when you're flying and you need to make it quick all my calculations are right here immediately we have a checklist of course we must have a checklist on board and that's my checklist when you check the item it goes green so you can go with check one by one one by one one by one it switches to next checklist and checklist you can create your own and load up using the same usb port so again pretty much that's a main functionality of the system I likely forgot to mention that you have OAT sensor temperature you have information about your com radios and you can of course um, change your um, uh, com radio frequencies right from the screen from here you can control nav radio or com radio uh, you have outside air temperature you have current time information you have some warnings if you have some warning it will pop up on your screen so you will be able to either shut it down by pushing on warning or on the mute button um, warning will also warn you through the voice uh, computer system which is also built in and it's another part of my avionics here uh, manufactured by 360 avionics 
We also have this little tiny office, which is Mini Uni Model 2, which is a backup instrument, just really backup instrument. So that's small, tiny, but yet powerful instrument, which has some interesting capabilities and functionalities, such as G-meter, altitude, speed, voltage. So that's a mainly backup instrument installed here. Oh yeah, we're sending the flight plan, so we have to decline the flight plan, which we just almost sent. Uh, this airplane is also equipped with the engine monitor model, manufactured by 360 Avionics, and uh, that's where all the information for the engine monitor is taken from. And also with the voice system, which actually gives you all voice warnings for altitudes, uh, any engine, information for anything so basically that's a voice uh, control system which we can let's say adjust and uh, to show you how that works so let's say we have first of all we have uh, different voices for this system you can hear it right now big system ready so we have a female voice we have a male voice big system ready and uh, we can set different warnings which we want to use in this system by just configuring through the menu. And menu menu is very like simple to use as well as you can go from this menu to different parts or you can go let's say to let's say v-speeds. Important moment is to set up v-speeds. That's really important because the v-speeds, um, the configuration of the v-speeds uh, really influences on the way how the FS will work. So basically it will use your V speeds as some references for different warnings. It's very important to set it up. Thank you for watching and all your questions are welcomed. 360avionics.com